Have you ever wondered what a dietitian slash fitness instructor buys at the grocery store? Well, today you are in luck. If we haven't met before, my name is Nicole. I'm a registered dietitian as well as a fitness instructor. I've been in the nutrition fitness world for over 10 years, working with people from NFL combine training camps to people in the hospital to just women who are trying to feel confident in their own skin. I have always been curious at what people buy, especially when I was studying nutrition for a while. I always wanted to know what I was supposed to buy. It's just making sure you're fueling your body with nutritious foods, as well as finding things that are still comforting and just soothe your soul. You'll see what I mean. Step one is really just cleaning out your fridge and pantry. If there's anything expired, anything old, toss it out and then I examine what's in my fridge, what's in my freezer, what's in my pantry, what do I have, what do I need. Usually we write a list on the fridge of things we want. We're not very good at that. So right now I just know I need a light bulb. But food wise, we're gonna look together, see what we need and then we are gonna head out to the first store. And before we hit the town, make sure you press that like button, subscribe to the channel, it means so much to me. I'm eternally grateful for everyone that subscribes and comments down below. action for the second place. I got a lot of produce. I got some snacks at the first place. So I know there's some dairy stuff that I want to get here. If there's great sales on anything, I'm probably buy it here. Like great sales on protein I'm in. I had one question that said, do I improv my meals? Do I plan my meals out before I go grocery shopping? And I do both. So I'm a creature of habit, just like I'm sure many of you are. And there's only a few meals I know how to make like that are super quick. And that's like a grain bowl, salads, and then, um, a pasta of dish of some sort. And after that, I just know I wanna buy things that I can roast, things that are easily, I can put in an air fryer, I can put in the oven to whip something up pretty quickly. So let's see what we can find in Publix. what I got. Okay, let's just start off with proteins because when I buy proteins, it's always a mixture of animal-based and plant-based proteins. And I always buy the proteins when they're on sale because a lot of times chicken, shrimps, etc., can be pretty darn expensive. So I'll wait until a sale goes on and then I'll buy a multiple of that protein and just stick it in the freezer so that I have those proteins ready and I can just whip up a meal whenever needed. So a huge thing that was going on at Publix was a shrimp sale and it was like these huge bags of already peeled deveined shrimp for buy one get one. So I got two and I never really buy shrimp. Usually it's super expensive. So I'll put these in the freezer and I can put it on top of a pasta. Maybe we can just make a shrimp salad with it. The other thing I get whenever it's on sale is this one brand called Mighty Spark. They have a really good half made protein, chicken Thai style. So it's ground chicken that already has garlic, shallots, soy sauce, and ginger. If I've had like a really long day, put it on a pan and then add it to my vegetables and rice. Done within, what, 15 minutes? Easy cooking. Publix has this brand called Boris Head, which I like their deli meats a lot. They had a spicy chicken breast on sale. So I got some of that so that I can make sandwiches for work throughout the week. For the plant-based proteins, we got some tofu. This is the one I like getting from Trader Joe's because it's already portioned into two different portions. All I have to do is take it out, press it, marinate it, and I'll put it probably in my air fryer. And then I got a bunch of beans. We got black beans, we got refried beans. I like the refried beans from Trader Joe's because all it is is just beans that were mushed up with some salt, I believe. Yeah, and water. So there's no added fat in this one. So I'm imagining the refried beans with this Mexican style cauliflower dish. And then with this, I'll also add some brown rice to actually get some whole grains in there as well. I always get a dozen eggs because I'm gonna hard boil them. Very easy thing to make before I go to work because I wake up really early to work out and then I don't have much time to make any kind of breakfast. So if I have hard boiled eggs, I know that protein part is done. I just need some sort of grain, so maybe like a toast and then a fruit and I'm on my way. So we got black beans, white beans, navy beans, etc. Grain 
grains wise, I didn't get much because I have so much grains in my pantry. I have a bunch of pastas, whole wheat, chickpea pastas, I have quinoa, I have brown rice. I really just needed something to wrap my deli meats in and then something to dip my dips in. From Publix, I got the Extreme Wellness Tortillas. If you haven't heard me talk about these before, these are my absolute favorite tortillas. I actually don't buy any other tortillas or wraps of any sort. So what I really like about these is these have 80 calories. It's a lot of fiber. So it's 17 grams of fiber, which is a lot. But if you are someone that doesn't really have a lot of fiber in their day, this would be a great choice to increase that fiber. Again, if you ever increase a lot of fiber really quickly in your diet, make sure you're drinking water so you don't get constipated, you know what I mean? And it has eight grams of protein. So pretty awesome about that. And the chip I got, which is actually one of the new things I found at Trader Joe's. Last time I went, I bought it, I tried it, I loved it. It's these crispy, crisp, crunchy crisps. Say that 10 times fast. It's made with chickpea flour, pea flour, and also potato flour but so freaking delicate, crispy as heck, and a portion size is 17 crisps, which is pretty sick. There's four grams of protein in a serving, as well as three grams of fiber. Again, we love having protein and fiber in our snacks to help get us feeling full and keep us satisfied. Perfect for hummuses, dips, etc. Let's go to the dairies. We just got an espresso machine and I wanna make some lattes. And so I need some milks. I got two, one for myself and one for my boyfriend. This one is the soy milk. I love soy milk. I got the unsweetened, so there's no added sugar. If I wanna add some sweetness to my lattes, I can, but then it'll be what I wanna add. Our body absorbs animal-based proteins so much more efficiently than plant-based, yet soy, we absorb like 90% of the protein from soy, which is incredible. So if you're vegetarian, vegan, and you need to increase your protein intake, using soy or soy products will be helpful. And then I got regular milk. This is the Horizon Organic. They added omega-3s. And what I love about omega-3s is it's linked to bettering your mood. More and more studies are showing a link with omega-3s to better enhancing your mood and decreasing your perceived stress. Awesome choice in the milk. I'm excited to use it with our Nespresso machine because we also got that frother. If you have an espresso machine, let me know what your favorite pod flavor is because I'm new, I'm a newbie. We wanted a creamer. I always get a creamer that's on sale. I don't necessarily need the healthiest creamer because I only have one or two cups of coffee and this isn't gonna break, break any banks of like nutritional value. I wanna make sure my creamer actually tastes good. If my creamer tastes like dirt, I'm just not a fan of it. You know what I mean? I love cheese. From Trader Joe's, this is my favorite cheese Trader Joe's has. I've talked about it before. It's just super creamy, slightly salty, mild cheese. And then whenever I make pastas, I want to add some kind of Parmesan, so I got this from Trader Joe's. I always get some Greek yogurts. This is the plain, did I get non-fat? Yeah, plain non-fat, so I can put it on top of anything in exchange for sour cream, or I can make a yogurt bowl. I couldn't really find any cheese that was on sale in the deli that I liked. American cheese was on sale, didn't really want that. So I just got some Gouda cheese, got a little fancy. Let's talk about produce, which is like a third of what I got. I got some frozen, but most of mine are fresh produce because they were on sale. There is nothing wrong with getting canned produce or frozen produce. The nutrients are still there. I love frozen produce. I actually have so much in my freezer right now, so I didn't need more frozen produce. My current favorite, eggplant. Freaking love putting this in the air fryer or just if I have a lot of time, I'll slow roast it in the oven. Freaking delightful. And then I love a big salad. So I got some teeny tiny cucumbers from Trader Joe's. We got celery for dipping, also for chicken salad if I have leftover chicken. My two favorite greens, arugula because it's that slightly black pepper spice and kale. I like the depth of flavor of the kale, of like the bitterness. And then I love the black pepper spice of arugula. Also arugula, whenever it's on a sandwich, I buy it. Super fancy pinkies up. The Trader Joe's frozen peppers. I'm gonna put these in the freezer because they're melting right now. Eggs and frittata, delish. Let me put this in the freezer. Did get basil. I try to get only one herb because if I get more than two or three, I notice I throw all of it away and it's just wasted money. Mangoes were on sale, so I got some mangoes. If you don't know how to choose a mango, press down on it. It just feels soft to the touch, not squishy, but just slightly soft. That's when you know it's ripe and ready to eat. I got these apples because they were on sale and I freaking love an apple. It's easy to put in my purse. So whenever I get hangry, I have a snack that is full of fiber and vitamins. And also I know when produce is on sale, usually it means it's in season. And when 
you eat foods that are in season and produce that's in season, it usually has more nutrients than when it's out of season. I am obsessed with putting hearts of palm in my salads. Freaking delightful. It's a nice little texture and slightly briny, which I like. Okay, last category is like the miscellaneous, ready-made, don't know where to put this product. I want all my meals to be like 30 minutes or less. I found this. So this is the Three Simple Steps Butter Chicken Curry Sauce Kit. Have never had it before, but if you could say three steps, there's already a sauce included. All I need to do is mix it with protein. I'm in. This is probably gonna be great with chicken or even with tofu. So we'll see which one I decide on with that. There's only two grams of added sugar, so really nothing much. If you don't get anything in this haul, the one thing you need to get, and this is the first time I'm talking about it, and for sure it's not the last time I'm talking about it, is the everything but elote Greek style dip. I've discussed the everything but bagel dip, nothing in comparison to this. It's tangier than the everything but bagel. Also it has so much more flavor, a little bit of heat and fun bits of corn, which what a treat. Buy this, I'm telling you, it's gonna make your dreams come true. Corn and quinoa salad, I love it. It has cabbage, quinoa, corn, it has cilantro, a little bit of tomatoes and a dressing with it. What I'll do with this to make it like bigger, add some massaged kale and then it'll bulk up, one, the vegetables I'm having for the day, and two, it'll make this $4, $5 container way cheaper because it's gonna be multiple servings. My boyfriend is huge on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I love peanut butter, but at Trader Joe's, I saw that they had like a mixed nut butter. So it has almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, pecans, and sea salt. That's the only ingredients in these. I have yet to try this, so I'm pretty amped about it. Shelf stable, lasts a long time, Love having this in my pantry. I always have some sort of sugar, candy, fun food in my house so that I never feel deprived. My sweet treat today was the dark chocolate almond butter cups from Trader Joe's. These are phenomenal. Pro tip, put them in the refrigerator, even freaking better. Another super fun thing, never tried it, I'm gonna try it right now, is the crispy Thai chilies and sesame seeds. It's supposed to be a snack, but I can definitely see this on top of a meal to add some crunch and heat, a chili and sesame seeds. Whoa. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that is a little spicy. Ooh, you know what this would be really good on? Again, might be weird, but you could make a savory Greek yogurt dip or even like cottage cheese and top it with these. Yeah, 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 that's delightful. Last couple of things are just pantry staples. I always get some kind of broth and always low sodium because I want to add salt I want as I'm cooking. So this is great to make a sauce or a soup. This pasta sauce looks super good at Trader Joe's. It's a spicy, chunky tomato and pepper. Never had it before, but again, if I am in a time crunch and I need a quick meal, boiling some pasta or um, spaghetti squash and then adding that on top, easy. And then I just needed salt and pepper. So that is the humongous grocery haul that I did. This is gonna probably last me a few weeks minimal. Produce, I'll probably have to get more next week because that's produce, you know? But otherwise, this is gonna last me a long time. If you have any questions about anything I bought or any questions about how I grocery shop, put them down in the comment section below. I can always make more videos like this if y'all enjoyed it. If you haven't already, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. It really means so much to me when y'all subscribe. You can share this with your friends and family on social media, tag me so I can give you a big old thank you. And until next time, drink your water, eat your fruits and vegetables, and be kind to yourself and those around you. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye y'all.